You're watching Free Speech TV's Newswire. Here are some of today's top stories. Low income and poor people are taking the biggest hits from the recent budget deal in Washington. The Congressional Budget Compromise is forcing cuts in legal services. That leaves the most vulnerable without legal help for cases involving domestic violence, foreclosures, and predatory lending. Followers of an obscure Christian preacher say the world will end this Saturday. So for perspective, we turn to another preacher who has warned about an upcoming shopocalypse, the Reverend Billy. Here's Jared Kang Mayer with more. People gathered in Times Square recently, not to ring in the new year, but the end year. May 21st to be precise, that's the date of the biblical doomsday as predicted by Christian radio personality Harold Camping. While his previous end of the world prediction in 1994 did not come true, Camping insists that his calculations this time are correct. Judgment Day is coming. So what are we to make of the impending apocalypse? We asked radical street preacher and performance artist Reverend Billy for his thoughts. Well, first of all, we are, we are gathering on Sunday for a post-apocalyptic post fun church service here in New York with the 35-voice Stop Shopping Gospel Choir. And we call ourselves the Church of Earthalulia. In the Church of Earthalulia, we know the apocalypse is happening. <laughs> That's what the earth is doing, and the earth is making the date. And it's probably not a simple single date. It's probably lots of dates. And it's, it's the physical life of the earth is changing. And it might not be the end of the earth. It might be the end of life as we know it, because the dominant species makes, is making adjustments right now. Uh, we, we will not have the convenience that we had for so long. We will not have the power that comes to us from the extractive coal mining and oil drilling and fracking and mountaintop removal. We won't have that anymore. Um, the earth is refusing us that kind of power switch. So we have to respect what the earth is deciding to do and reject the fundamentalistic uh, pronouncements of these P.T. Barnum-like preachers. We reported earlier that the Senate voted against a bill ending tax breaks for big oil. Here's what you had to say. Andrew T. posted this comment. We need to outlaw legal bribing from any, any business. People should choose what the politicians vote for and business shouldn't. Bella D. says, is the Senate controlled by the Democrats? Wimps. We want to hear what you have to say. Post your comment at facebook.com slash freespeechtv.